What's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to get set up with the iOS simulator now. So you can run your uh, React Native apps or any other apps really um, from an iOS device right on your Mac. Now, this doesn't work for Windows machines. So if you're on a Windows PC right now and you're trying to do this, get out of here. It won't work, you can't do it. You have to be on a Mac to run the iOS simulator. If you're on a PC, you can do the Android simulator though. The Android simulator works on Mac and Windows computers. So you should be good to go. But for this, this is Max only, unfortunately. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is go to our App Store. Open up the App Store and let's search for Xcode, which is Apple's, like Apple's Ants to Visual Studio Code, I guess. Um, so this is Xcode. Now I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to do it again, but you will need to download it. Um, but we're not even gonna use the whole text editor. We don't really care about that. All we want is the simulator that comes with it. So. Once you've downloaded it, you're good to go, essentially. Um, if you search for simulator by pressing command and space, you might see it. Let me see, do I see it here? So I, I see it there, but if you don't see it, that's okay. Just go to your finder uh, and open up your uh, applications folder. So on the side there, I've got an applications folder. Uh, it's located in your Mac hard drive and applications. Uh, if you scroll down to Xcode, somewhere in here, near the bottom, if you right click on it and click show package contents, and then there'll be a contents folder. You'll go into that. Uh, and then there's a developer folder. I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. Developer, applications, and then you've got simulator right there. Oh, I didn't think I'd remember that path. Okay, cool. So you found your simulator. Just go ahead and run it. So when it starts up, you should see something like this. Um, if you don't see a device yet, you can go down to the bottom on the simulator app, right click on it and go to device. And you can see all these uh, beautiful devices to choose from. So pick one of those by clicking on it. Uh, you should be good to go. Now, uh, you might want to right click on this, go to options and click keep in dot like I have, just so you'd have to go and find it every time, but that's entirely up to you. But yeah, that's it. You essentially have yourself a nice uh, iOS simulator. Uh, and now if you have a React Native app running Expo, you can go to your terminal, start the server with npm start. And if I press I, uh, oops, in the terminal, if I press I, it should say opening on iOS and give it some time and this should appear. So there we go. We've got ourselves a nice React Native app running on the iOS simulator. Um, yeah, that's, that's all we need to do. Now, if you want to get set up with the Android simulator too, I've done a video on that. Go check it out. You might like it. Who knows?